much for the teachers. Um, don't touch your face. Um, we have been teaching fraction you have to f you know you have to flip this and multiply which is two thirds yeah um did you think about why it is my issue with um primary education especially with the fraction part is that we teach the the rules but we never teach why and how, why we have to flip. And uh, I'm sure the students will ask you, why do you have to flip it? And you don't have the answer. And possibly um, we have never taught why, why we have to flip the second fraction to change into multiplication. So I'm going to go through very quickly and how you teach that or if you, how you answer students' questions, I may have to leave it to you so you can upskill yourself. So, let's think about one half divided by two thirds. So before we do this, divided by 2 equals 3. Do you remember that? I'm sure you can do this. Now, the a related number sentence of the, the number fact to this, with this, is 2 times 3 equals 6. Are we good with that? So if I have a number, the answer here, if I multiply these two numbers, the answer should be one half. Do you get that? So six divided by two equals three. If you multiply these two numbers, the number that divides the first number and the answer, if we multiply these two numbers, the answer should be first number. If I multiply this number and the answer, the result is going to be half. So, two thirds times these two numbers is going to be one half. Do you agree with that? So, to find this what would this be? So let's see. Answer is one. Now, if we multiply these two numbers, th that has to be the answer. So this cannot be one, can it? So what you can get here, instead of one half, let's see if we can use the equivalent fraction of two. So two quarters. Two quarters still doesn't work because three times something cannot be four. So the number here needs to be multiply, multiply, so the, a multiple of three. So maybe 12. So let's change to 12. So that's six twelfths, right? To get six twelfths, the answer could be two threes are six, three fours are twelve. So three quarters is the answer. Right? What possibly you can do is practice with different numbers to get the question. Then the student possibly can find the um, pattern there or try another one how about one quarter mm, let's make it slightly bigger so it's three quarters divided by uh, one fifth but we don't know what this is but if I multiply these two numbers 
answer should be three quarters. Right? The numbers we can get is, ooh, we don't know. Can I do three? I cannot do three. Because I can do three times, well, this is going to be a problem. I can make this into three, but I cannot do this. So I need to change this to a equivalent fraction. Maybe 20th. So 20th by 15. Right? Can I make 15 20th? Yes, I can. 1 times 15 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. So answer is 15 over 4. Now, hopefully, if keep on, if you keep on doing this, students may be able to find the pattern. Three times five is fifteen. One times three is three. Two times two is four. Does it make sense? So four fifth divided by two thirds. Student may be able to find the pattern there. 5 times 2 is 10. 4 times 3 is 12. We are multiplying the numbers in a sort of zigzag way. I'll give you one more. 2 fifths times a quarter divided. So we're in. 2 times 4 is 8, 5 times 1 is 5. So that is how it's working, using the patterns you found, we found. However, can you see that if we flip this, you can multiply sideways. That's possibly the one of the easiest ways to explain why you have to flip and multiply the numbers. So it is slightly complicated, but those curious students, you may be able to find the explanation of the division. So this is the teacher's video. Remember, so one third divided one quarter. If we multiply these two numbers, you get this. So one quarter times whatever we have is going to be one third, right? To find this number, well, I cannot make three, but I can make 12. So I change the equivalent fraction, right? Four times three is twelve. One times four is four. Answer should be four thirds. By repeating this process, kids may be able to find one times four is four. Three times one is three. Then the result is going to be if we flip this. You simply multiply the numbers to get the answer. So um, it's not the easy way to find why we have to change division into multiplication. However, it's well, I guess it's not really for um, every student in your class, but those curious people those mathematical, mathematically curious, curious um, individuals may be satisfied with this and the finding patterns, making the solution, coming up with the conjecture, that this may be a great um, practice for them. So good luck.